Okay, so the Suburban Lodge leaves me no options but to give them a bad rating. Well, when you first walk in, okay, here's the door. Next to the door, they have the ironing board and the iron, okay, which is pretty much standard in any hotel you stay in. But anyway, I mean, not in that area, but you, you know, you have access to one. Um, in most hotels but anyway i got this room uh off of hotwire.com and usually hotwire does a really good job with uh finding me a really good room but i mean i've paid 52 dollars and stayed in four star hotels this one was about 78 dollars a night and it had four stars on some of the reviews and then some of the reviews were very terrible but I just took a chance at it and this is just a chance I shouldn't have taken but anyway as you can see right here there is there's is the uh, furnace here it has a little broken part in there and then it's not clean at all if you look closely you can see all this stuff on top of here that they did not clean well at all and not to mention you can't get the air conditioner um, I mean, there's no comfortable setting at all. Even when you put it on automatic, it just still goes. And then when you turn it down even a little bit, it gets really hot in the room. And let me tell you this. First of all, when we first got here, they put us in a room. And she said, well, you didn't know you scheduled um, that you, um, oh, my God, you booked the smoking room. I'm like, no, I didn't know I booked the smoking room. I didn't see anything on high wire that said that I prefer smoking at all. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back and look at my confirmation. Because I didn't even know you could smoke in hotels anymore. But anyway, uh, then there's this mirror right here. I don't know why they put that right there. And then there's a little chair that you can sit in. And then there's this little kitchenette area. Now, let me tell you this. When we first got here, you know, they put us in that smoking room that smelled it smelled horrible there was no kitchenette area like the pictures that they had on high wire and i mean the cigarette smell was so strong that there was no way we could stay in there i mean it may be okay for smokers but i'm an ex-smoker and i just i couldn't take it anyway look down here in the corners of how uh dirty this room is i mean you could tell it hasn't been swept or dusted in a long time okay and then they have this little uh, countertop stove. The paper towels, we had to go to Family Dollar and buy because they don't supply any of that, which was strange to me how you have a kitchenette, but you don't supply paper towels. And then they have this microwave, which was not clean. Sorry, we just came in from, you know, doing a little thing out. So we kind of laid our bags down, but I wanted to hear you make this video some shells and rocks we collected but anyway um then here's some they have dishes and all that other stuff dish soap and then some towels which i really wouldn't trust and then there's a full refrigerator here there's some things we went by and then there's a table here but there's really no um thing to sit our luggage on so we put them on the chairs and the tables because you know most hotels they'll have the little thing you stretch out and sit your luggage on and i don't know what the technical name is for it but then they have trash right there and then there's a tv and then the beds um and yes they have a lot of bugs yeah and yes my husband killed a couple roaches and the walls need touch up paint really bad then um look out here there's the outside area and i complained to them about that smelly room so bad there's a little area here you can put your clothes and hang them up and all that but i complained to them so much and then it goes right into the restroom that they put us in this room but look it's a handicap room which not a big deal you know just flap the little thing up and take a shower but it's almost like we had to use this little handheld thing because we can never get the shower to cut on up top. So <laughs> stuck with that. Um, bathroom was okay, but it really wasn't all that tidy. 
we bought this candle because it smells so bad in here. You know, just kind of. But anyway, um, yeah. This is just, I just don't think it's a good buy. I mean, not even for $78 a night. I mean, this is something that you pay $25 a night for. And actually, believe it or not, this room is probably their best room because the other room that we were in at first, it was terrible. So <laughs> this was like 10 times better than the other room. So you can just imagine what the other room looked like. But anyway, I just wanted to put this out there to stop someone from wasting their money because I've booked other rooms on Hotwire and I don't blame Hotwire because I love Hotwire. But um, the Suburban Lodge, if you're gonna visit, Wilmington is just not a good buy at all. Okay.